What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to factory reset your PSPs. I have the 1000 model here, the black one, and I also have a 3000 model as well. Both are a little bit different to factory reset, so depending on which model you have, they do reset a little bit differently, but I'm going to be showing you guys how to factory reset both of these models. Now these are both from my personal collection and I do have them both in my collection because they are both a PlayStation Portable but they're both a little bit different. This one here is a little bit bulkier and heavier but it is the original PSP and this one here is lighter weight and thinner but it just looks amazing in that nice cool blue. And it looks like it's both brand new which is why I wanted to add them to my personal collection. So now first on the 1000 model how to factory reset it. As you can see here, it's a little bit difficult to see because it's a white screen, but what you're going to want to do is you're going to go all the way over to the right till you're on the settings here. Then you're going to uh, press X for the settings and you're going to make sure you're on the restore default settings. And you're going to press X here and you're going to follow everything on the screen. So you're going to hit yes, that you want to factory resets. You're going to hit yes again. And just like that, the restore is complete. It shouldn't take much time at all. And then to complete it, you're just going to hit the X button again. And it will come up here that it is factory resets. Shouldn't take too long here. And you will see the PlayStation logo. Just like that. It's really, really easy to factory reset the 1000 model along with the 3000 model, which I'm going to be showing you guys now. Now, how to factory reset your 3000 model PSP. It is a little bit different than the 1000 model. Instead of turning it on and going into the settings to factory resets, you're going to press and hold some of the buttons. You're going to turn it on and then it will be factory resetting the handhelds. So let me explain. You're going to press and hold the triangle button, the square button, the start and select buttons, all four buttons at the same time, which is a little bit difficult, but I'm going to be showing you guys a trick on how to press them all in a second. Then you're going to flick the power button, and then whenever it does turn green in the corner here, you're going to release all four buttons, and you'll see the Sony logo appear, and then it will be factory reset. So now my little trick. You're going to use your ring finger to press the triangle button. You're going to use your middle finger to press the square button and you're going to stretch your index finger down to press the start and select button just like this and then you're going to press it. So you're going to press all four, you're going to press it here, light turns green, you're going to release all the buttons. You should see in a second here the Sony logo, just like that. And it is now factory reset. Just like that, you just factory reset your 3000 model PSP. Now, both of these were extremely easy to factory reset. The 1000 model, it's simply just going into the settings and hitting factory resets, and usually it doesn't take too long at all. The 3000 model is just pressing all four of those buttons, the triangle, square, start, and select, and then turning it on and releasing all the buttons, and it should factory reset if you did time it right. It is really quick to factory reset both of these, and the reason that I have both of these in my personal collection is because this one here is the original, it's a little bit thicker, but I did want the original in my collection, and I had this one for about a year now, and recently, a couple months ago, I did pick up this one here. I actually picked it up to resell, but after seeing it, it's in such a beautiful condition. No scratches, no nothing. A couple fingerprints on the screen here, but that's just from me. Uh, this here is in perfect condition, so I decided to keep it a little thinner, and it's lighter than the 1000 model here. So I decided to keep both in my personal collection. But now you guys know how to factory reset both the 1000 and the 3000 model PSPs. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.